Welcome to Excel Campus. My name is John, and in this video, I'm going to share seven keyboard shortcuts for selecting cells and ranges in Excel. And these tips, of course, will help save you a lot of time when navigating large worksheets with a lot of rows and columns. So the first keyboard shortcut is Control End, and that will take us down to the last used cell on the sheet. So if we're here in cell A1 and we hold down the Control key and then hit the End key on the keyboard, that will select cell D9 here. Now it's important to note that this is actually the last used cell or the intersection of the last used column and last used row. So if we go over to this sheet here where we have multiple ranges and we hit control end, that will select cell G14, which is again, the intersection there of the last used column, column G, and the last used row, row 14. Now, sometimes when you hit control end on a sheet, uh, like this sheet here, if we hit control end, it will select some cell way down below the last used row or column. In this case, uh, data might have been deleted or the cells might have been formatted down here. Uh, so sometimes all you'll need to do is save the workbook. Other times you'll need to uh, delete all of these blank rows, these blank rows here. We can just right, uh, right click, delete those, delete those blank rows, then go ahead and save the workbook, control S or save the workbook. Now if we go back up to the top, hit control N, that will select the last used cell on the sheet. And then the next shortcut is Control Home. So that will take us back up to cell A1. So hold down the Control key, hit the Home key on the keyboard, and that will select cell A1. Now, if your sheet has freeze panes on it, like this sheet does here, uh, and you hit Control Home, that will take you to the cell in the bottom right corner of the intersection of those freeze panes. So we can see the freeze panes are right up here in row one and left of column B. And so Control Home will select cell B2. The next set of shortcut keys are control plus the arrow keys. So we'll go over to our data sheet here and select cell A1. If I was to hold down the control key and press the down arrow, that will jump down and select the last cell in this column right here. Now that's actually selecting the last used cell before the next blank cell. That's how control down arrow or any of the control uh, plus arrow key shortcuts work. Uh, so for example here, if we're in cell C1 and we hold down the control key and press down arrow, that's going to select cell D7. So it jumps all the way down to the next uh, cell that's non-blank before the next blank cell here and you could continue to hold the control key and press the down arrow to then jump to those non-blank cells. If we press control down arrow again, that's going to jump all the way down to the last cell on the worksheet. And then pressing control up arrow from there will go to the first uh, non-blank cell. And uh, same thing with left and right. So control left arrow will go over here to cell A9. If we go up here to row five and then hit control right arrow, we could see that cell C5 is selected. And again, that's the last non-blank cell before a blank cell here. Now we can also use shift plus the arrow keys to select multiple cells. So if we're in this cell here and we hold down the shift key and press down arrow, that will select uh, cell A, uh, C5 and C6. If we continue to press down arrow, that will just continue to select cells. Uh, from here, we could also hold shift and press right arrow to select all of those cells and then multiple columns, or we can press left arrow a few times to select these columns as well. Now we can also combine control and shift plus the arrow keys to select all the cells in an entire row or column. So if we're up here in cell A1 and we uh, press control shift and then down arrow, that's going to select all of these cells here in column A. Now again, the same rules apply with the control plus arrow keys. So if we're in cell C1 and we hit control shift down arrow, that's going to select all of the cells here until the next blank cell or the cell above the next blank cell. And then you can continue to uh, hold control shift and press the down arrow to select those cells below it. Now, if you're on a column that contains a lot of blanks, like over on this sheet here, we have a lot of blanks. If we were in column C and we hit control shift down arrow, we'd have to hit control shift down arrow a bunch of times to select all of the cells in that column. And so I have a whole nother video that explains techniques for how to do this uh, using keyboard shortcuts or even a macro to select all of those cells in a column when the column contains blanks. I'll put a link to that in the description below this video. 
We can also use Control Shift plus the Home and End keys to select an entire range or all the used cells. So I'm going to hit first hit Control Home just to select cell A1 there. Then I'll hit uh, hold down Control Shift and hit the End key, and that will take me all the way down and select all of the cells on this sheet here, all the cells in the used range. Uh, if we go back up here, maybe just select this cell or this cell, and then hit Control Shift and Home, that will jump all the way back up and start from this cell I had selected and select all the way to cell A1. Now if your sheet has multiple ranges like this sheet does here and uh, you're up here in A1 and you just want to select all the cells here in this used range, uh, Excel is pretty good about doing that using Control A. So you can select any cell, select any cell here inside this used range hit Control A, hold down Control and hit A, and that will select this used range here. It's pretty good about finding that. And then you can also hit Control A again a second time to select all the cells on the sheet. So there are seven keyboard shortcuts for saving time with selecting cells and ranges. Of course, there are a lot more than this, so please leave a comment below with some of your favorites, and I'll create some follow-up videos with those as well. If you enjoyed that video, there are a few simple things you can do to help me out. If you are watching this video on YouTube, click the like button below the video and leave a comment with any questions or feedback. And please don't forget to subscribe to my free email newsletter to get more tips and tricks that will help you learn Excel. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.